why did you choose to come to Korea? Um, um, uh, do you think you want to be in Korea for a long time? Uh, I hope so, definitely. I really don't see myself living for a really long time here. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sean. So I'm here in Seoul today and I'm asking foreigners on the streets, why did they come to Korea? I'm wondering how are they adjusting to Korea? Are they studying? Are they working? Are they living well here? Are they having difficulty learning Korean? I want to hear their story. I'm sure this will be a very interesting video. Also, if you're currently studying English, I highly recommend you join my channel membership. Without further ado, let's begin. Hey, how's it going? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from England. How long have you been in Korea? Um, I've been here since August last year. Okay. So yeah. what made you want to come to Korea? Um, so uh, Korean studies is my degree at my university in England. I'm on my third year at my university in England. Ah, I see. And for the third year, you have to come to Korea for a year. Study. For a year? Yes. That's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're majoring in Korean studies. Yes. What does that mean exactly? As part of my degree, uh, the core um, objective is to learn Korean over four years, but we also have to partake in um, cultural modules, so about Korean history and about cultural things as well. Wow. Yeah. So the goal is to learn Korean within four years? Yes. In That's my really opinion. ambitious. <laughs> yeah, it's quite ambitious, yes. And how is the like success rate within your uh, major? Most fourth year students, after we've been in Korea for a year and we've finished our degree in England, um, have about a topic level six, I think. Wow, yeah. that's the highest level. Yeah, yeah. So it's really effective, it seems. Yeah, it's quite intense, yeah. When you enter the classroom, no English? Exactly, no English at all. Wow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Where are you from? We're from Switzerland. <laughs> uh, are you living here? I'm here as an exchange student, yes. Yeah. Just visiting. Okay, how long have you lived here? It's been about five months. Five months. I'm staying for one year. I've okay. been here for a week now. Why come to Korea? I used to be bullied for listening to K-pop because I started like 10 years ago before the hype started. And then after I finished gymnasium in my gap year, I came here to do a language course and I just fell in love with the food, the culture, the language, everything. So that was your first time coming here? Yes. And now this is your second time? No. Oh, <laughs> how many times have you been here? Um, this is the sixth time. <laughs> That's why I'm broke all the time. <laughs> you said you were bullied for liking K-pop. Yeah. What does that mean exactly? Like K-pop is like a bright package of a lot of colors and like choreography and like the outfits and everything. And especially 10 years ago, they looked very different than now they're very polished. Like even the new groups, they look very fancy already. But back then they had like a different style which I personally really like. But I think if people are not familiar with that, it looks really weird to them. They would just call me weirdo or like yeah, in okay. Switzerland, there's like a lot of stigma also for people who watch um, mangas like or like anime. So like the just Japanese. a nerd, right? Yeah, so they were like, oh yeah, it's, she must be one of them. Or like just a lot of racist comments like, oh, are you listening to this Chinese music again? Stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. That's a... Uh... Intense. Yes, it was very annoying. <laughs> I was here last summer and I really love it so I came back and I love the food, the culture is interesting and I feel at why, home, why, funny enough. <laughs> why, why aren't you doing what she's doing? <laughs> Money. <laughs> true story, true story. Hey, how's it going? Where are you from? Pretty good. I'm from Australia. Why did you decide to come to Korea? Uh, maybe four years ago I met my girlfriend, current girlfriend in Australia. And uh, the reason I met her was I was watching uh, K-drama at the time. <laughs> I just, on Netflix and just randomly, the recommendation came up. Uh, I think it was Kim Bisul. It's like Secretary Kim was the K-drama. And I just, so interested, just randomly. Uh, and then I became, I was like, oh, I sort of want to learn this language because I was just watching a lot of K-drama. Maybe, you know, it's kind of addictive. So then, yeah, I was looking for a Korean teacher and my Korean teacher was my now girlfriend, now fiance. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, that's why I want to come to Korea to learn more Korean. So I'm going to like a Yonsei de Hakyo nice. and, and studying Korean so we can <laughs> eventually 
you know, speak Korean to each other. Yeah, that's yeah, my goal. Yeah, yeah. Wow, your fiance now. That's uh, yeah. amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you. Are you here together now? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, she's in Hongdae at the moment. We're just having quick travel and then I'll go back to Australia. Is she from Seoul? Her hometown is Oijangbu. Oijangbu. Udejige. Udejige manaya. Udejige is cho. Yeah. Why am I so? Hey, how's it going? Where are you from? I'm from America. Why did you come to Korea? I wanted to study Korean culture and Korean language, and I love K-pop and K-dramas, so I really wanted to learn Korean. So I came here to study. Nice. So in, in the U.S., you're just hanging out, listening to Korean music, watching Korean dramas and movies, and you're like, I want to go to Korea. Yeah, yeah. I I also visited Korea in 2022 after I graduated and I fell in love with the country and I was like, I want to go back here. So I found a program to study Korean language. So like, and while studying, you can live in Korea so you can ex uh, get exposed to Korean culture and life and, and you can learn Korean even better. So yes. that's, that's what I did. So why is learning to speak Korean well so important? <gasps> so important. Yeah. It's so important. Why? Like, like even now, like my speaking is so bad. And I realized the importance of being able to speak Korean here because Everywhere, like you need to be at least at, at a certain level to be able to like get hired or like get jobs or like, even like opportunities to even work here. Yeah. Yeah. You want to work here and live here? Mm, yeah, I love this place. You love this place. <laughs> okay. I love this place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love everything about this place. Yeah. What? 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 What do you love? Uh, like the culture here. Like I hear a lot of different opinions from like many people after I came here, but like what I saw for myself is a bit different from what people have been saying. So I feel like. Even just now when I was walking on out like out from school, I saw like many banners where people put up to say like, oh congratulations to this person and that person and we don't I don't think we have that in Singapore. They decorate and like created a oh like this. Like you can just put banners anywhere. And oh it's fine. Holy, okay. And I, I feel like it's such a good place to like have like free expression and create like be creative and yeah. I think that Korea is very like artistic and creative and fun. What are you getting here that you're not getting in Singapore? This. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> like, I feel like in Singapore, we're very rigid. You don't really get to, like, put your work up there or, like, do fun things. I mean, we can, but, like, it'll be taken down. But, like, here, you can openly put it up. So it's, like, yeah. interesting. Like, so. My, my image of Singapore is, like, very open, advanced, very yeah, yeah. expensive, very expensive, yes. intelligent people, very, you know, cutting edge technology. Mm. Which okay. is surprising to hear you say it's a bit more conservative. But for the art side, there are many rules that we have to follow like, in Singapore. Like even the art side, it's a really small community, so you don't really get to like do anything that you want. Hi, I'm from Chile. How long have you been in Korea? I've been in Korea already one year. Wow. Why did you originally come to Korea? Why? First, I came here to study. I'm studying in Yonsei University. Well, my main reason is because I got a scholarship. But the purpose of coming here is also because I, I'm going to study business administration. And I always found Korea a great place to study and learn about business. Taking in account the whole Korean history and how they develop the country in such a small amount of time. Uh, it was a good option for me. Uh, also, I became interested in Korea like some a couple of years ago. So it was just like matching both. Destiny. Sides. Yeah. <laughs> so. Everything came together really yeah. well. Got the scholarship. Yes. You're studying business. It's a great country to study business. Mm. Got yes. it. Hey, how's it going? Where are you from? Oh, uh, I'm from Singapore. Cool. How long have you been in Korea? About three months. Why did you decide to come to Korea? So I came to study Korean, more for like practicing speaking here, because I, I I do study Korean like in my country in Singapore. Sure. But like speaking wise, I don't have people to practice with. So like I thought that coming here would be a good opportunity to like practice my speaking. So I came to Korea to practice. Hey, how's it going? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Barcelona in Spain. How long have you been in Korea? So now I've been here for a little bit more than two months. Why did you choose to come to Korea? I just wanted to learn a new language because I'm studying translation. I had a friend that was very much into K-pop and dramas and everything and I really didn't know much but she wanted to move here and I thought, okay, let's, let's try and here I am. So you came here with a good <laughs> friend of yours? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's also from Barcelona. Okay, is she also doing translation? No, 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 she's not. She's not. 
Okay. But she's also studying Korean. So you came here, you kind of just followed your friend. Uh, a little, but I did want to move because uh, I've lived in London and also in Canada. So I felt like doing something different from like Europe and, you know, America and everything. Um, the West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to see how it was to live. Boring. Very, very different. <laughs> okay. um, I also looked into Japan, but since my friend wanted to go here, I thought, okay, since I don't care, I just want to be in a different place. Wow. Like, this is good. That's a pretty unique reason. But I'm very happy I came now. Like, I'm wondering, did anything take you by surprise when you got here? or as you've been living here that you were not expecting? Maybe how many Chinese students do I have in my class? Like I wasn't expecting so many Chinese people to come here to go to university. Hey guys, how's it going? Where are you from? We're from Belgium. How long have you been in Korea? Uh, we came here uh, two weeks ago and we will stay for two uh, other weeks. Why did you decide to come to Korea? I had a friend who, who's Korean and I helped him uh, learn the, about his homeland and uh, I fell in love with it. So. Oh, really cool. Where is he from in Korea? He was adopted, so he doesn't really know. Oh, wow. And, and now he's living in Belgium. Yeah. How did you speak English? Yes, I speak English. I spoke with the teacher in the school. I spoke with the teacher in the school. I spoke with the teacher in the school. Oh, good. I spoke with the teacher in the school. Ah, nice. How do you speak English? I spoke with the teacher in the school. 한국 다양한 문화, 한국 문화는 좀 이상했어요. 그래서 yeah. 지금 한국에서 자라가 보니까 그런 같은 유교인 유교 yeah. 같은 어, 한, 어, 문화. 예. Yeah. Yeah. 좀 이상하는데 지금 익숙해졌어. 예를 들어주세요. 예를 들어. 어, 제가 <웃음> curious. 음, 제가 문신이 많아서 많았어요. 아, 그래서 팔에. 네, 팔, 다리 더. 그래서 제가 한 번은 어떤 할머니가 제 자취 테이블에 우선으로 데린 적이 있었어요. 헐. 예. 근데 사실 요즘 젊은 사람들 중에 음, 태투 많은 음, 사람 그럼. 있어요. 네, 그러게. 예. 예. 제, 최근에 옛날보다 많이 그거 음, 오픈 되, 됐어요. 음, 음, 그렇게. 제, 제 생각에는 음, 많은 한국 사람들이 무슨이 번제와 관련이 있다고 생각해요. Interesting. Okay. <웃음> 한국어 공부 시작한 지 얼마나 됐어요? 사실 아, 3년 동안 근데 지금 열심히 해요. Like maybe 아, 3, 3, 4 해요. I, uh, I got it. One, yeah. one semester I study. There are many phrases that you can catch on that are frequently used like from K-dramas or like K-pop. It's easy to catch like Murago or something yeah. from the K-drama. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice, and nice. Like just basic ones like Nianeo, Kumao and like other stuff like that. But most of them are used in Panmal form so it's not very well for... Uh, Bad habits. Right, yeah. yeah. After your degree, do you mm -hmm. see yourself coming back here to live here in the future? I hope so, definitely. I want to, you know, get a master's degree and hopefully come to work in the embassy here. So hey, that's I, pretty cool. I, I, I think living in Korea is a lot more comfortable than living in England. And really? safer and cheaper in certain aspects. So I Where in England? I'm, so I'm from the south in Bristol. So it's one of the big cities, so it's quite expensive. So being able to eat out here, it's quite nice because it's a lot cheaper. True. Yeah. I don't think I would stay in Korea long term, to be honest, because like the work environment and a lot of like political and social issues that I think are a bit better in Switzerland, for example, or of course other countries. I do plan to spend a few years, but not forever. Honestly, Sashil, I love living in Korea because it's so uh, everything is pione. It's really convenient. <laughs> <laughs> everything is pione. Let's go. <laughs> pione. <laughs> yeah. Korea is so, such a lovely place. Uh, all the food is so delicious, obviously, and all the people I've met are very friendly. Um, so it's worth coming. Yeah. Do you think you want to be in Korea for a long time? Uh, I'm not sure. I am going to finish my bachelor degree in like four years and although I have some plans of like staying here and getting a work maybe, I really don't see myself living for like a really long time here. Why is that? Uh, I think... Be honest. <laughs> the culture okay. sometimes can be harsh for foreigners. It doesn't mean it's 
bad at all. Sure. But it has some things that I just cannot like ignore since my culture is very different. Kissing? <laughs> is that? Is yeah, that that it's Chile? a thing. It's a thing in my country. Like the vibe of the whole place. I like that my culture is like very warm with people and since I cannot find that much here, I don't see myself living for a long time, but that doesn't mean it's a bad place for living. I it's just really... not your style. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's sure. bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're okay to say that. Mm, yeah. Anything that shocked you when you got here? <laughs> Many things. Oh, okay. <laughs> many things shocked me. The hills here, like so many like hills. Like the first day I came here and I had two luggage on my hand and I had to climb up a, a huge hill and go down another hill and go up another hill and go down another hill. I'm like, <laughs> no, like it's crazy. And they don't have lifts in the apartments. Like you have to climb up the stairs like that. That's shocking to me as well. The older buildings, yeah. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Did you enjoy it? If so, please let me know in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Sean and I will see you in the next video. Bye.